Hi, Men's Health. I'm Vidal Riley, professional boxer, and this is how I build my body. Okay, people, so I'm about to show you the first exercise, which is a plank rotation. Now, very simple movement, but works almost every muscle in the body. We hear everyone going about core this, core that. Well, this is one of the exercises that will help you with your core. You can do this with equipment, so with a dumbbell of your choice, a weight that you're comfortable with, or you can just use your body weight, get familiar with how to do the exercise and then add the weight later on. But either way, make sure it's comfortable for you. So with the plank rotation, you wanna make sure your arm goes under your body and comes up straight to the sky. Put strain on your core, put pressure on your core and your mind to hold your fan position, go under and control your rotation. Feel the stretch along the abdominals, feel the glutes engaged. Okay, so the core is already burning, I know, but we have no sympathy here because we're going in to another core exercise and it's going to be our ab rolls. They are underrated. Definitely something you should have at home if you're focusing on home workouts and definitely something you should have if you're looking to build your core further than where it is already. Let's get into a demonstration. We're on our knees, we're gonna find a neutral back position. We don't wanna be dropping into the hips and we also don't want to be rounding the back either. Now, when you're rolling out, don't worry about how far you go. Many people wanna go as far as they can go, but then they're losing the purpose of the exercise. We wanna to go to a point where our core is engaged to its maximum and then roll back in. Let's go. This is my optimal position without putting pressure on any other part of my body. As I roll in, this is what I don't want to do. I don't want to sit back onto my heels to help me roll back in. I want to keep my arms engaged, my core engaged to bring the roller back to me. It's time for the third exercise, okay? As I said, most of the exercises I like to do will incorporate the core. Being a boxer, it's important to have a lot of core stability. In the ring, we want to be able to keep our balance. We don't want to be knocked over by our opponent. So I like to incorporate loads of exercises into my workouts that will work the core. And we're moving into a walk-out push-up. We're standing, upright position, normal. Depending on the flexibility of your hamstrings will determine whether you can put your hands to the ground and walk out without bending your knees. I'm sorry guys, I'm working on it, but I'm not there yet. So I'm gonna add a slight bend into my knees so I can touch the ground and walk out. So I'm here, I'm walking, palm, palm, palm. As you can see the base of my body, I'm kind of in a position that, like a sprinter, like I'm out, coming out the block and I'm ready to fire. That's the kind of the position now that my hips are in and my legs are in. I continue to walk until I come to a position where I can drop my hips to a push-up position. From here, you push down, keep the elbows in, core is still engaged at this point. Up, full push-up, and you get in a slight bend in the knees again, and walk yourself back to a standing position. I would say to do 10 reps of these, because the more you do, the more you get into the flow of the exercise, and it might become easier, and then it gets really hard. All right, it's time to move into our fourth exercise and we are now targeting the lower body. You thought you were getting off lightly, but no you're not. We're going into the single leg hip thrust. Again, this can be done with a bar along uh, the waist area. This can be done with a resistance band, which I'm going to demonstrate to you today. I've got my band just above my knees. As you can see, I'm using a heavy band, um, which is good for me because I can get full range and still feel the resistance of the band. Let's stop. So I'm gonna raise one leg to like a 90 degree angle. 
So we've got tension on the band now. Drop the hips down towards the ground and thrust up. Don't arch your back to try and get your hips as high as you can. It's all about engaging the glute and squeezing the core. All right, this is our last exercise of the day and we're starting with a farmer's walk. When doing this farmer's walk here, make sure you bend your knees to pick your weights up, people. Very crucial. You might not get to the walk if you pop something out beforehand. So we're going to be here using our knees. Weight is now lifted. Don't push your stomach out. Don't hold your stomach in. Don't raise a shoulder, lower a shoulder. Try and stay as neutral as you can. You're literally walking forward, keeping as much balance as possible. Many people walk forward, but we're also going for a backwards walk, which requires a different kind of balance because you can't see what's behind you. Okay, it's been Vidal Rally. I hope you've enjoyed today's workout. I enjoyed it. A little bit difficult because a lot of the muscles are engaged. A lot of them are under a bit of pressure, but you know what? That's how we build. Like and subscribe to Men's Health. That's how I build my body and I'm out.